Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1424 as a special dedication to Laurel, who let me know that I had never updated this from when it was a timed level, even though they got rid of all the timed levels over a year ago. Thank you so much for letting me know that this one was kind of orphaned out there. Now, it looks like I've got a lot of opportunities on this board. I've got two color bonds, a raft, a UFO, and a coconut wheel just to start and I don't think I have any automatically activated specials. I've got 30 moves to make 80,000 points and I don't think I'm going to have trouble especially because the best way to get points is color bombs and not only do I have these two but right away I've got this opportunity I'm going to take it. Now if I want to be extremely precise I'm going to look at which color is most prevalent on the board. I'm going to match a color bomb with the color that is most prevalent. Right now though, I can only reach blue or green. So let's see, between blue and green, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It looks like 13 blue. And for green, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so green is the more prevalent color. Let's see how fast that grows. Look at that. I'm not gonna have any trouble with this board. This is now super easy in my opinion. I don't even feel the need to really look to see how many of each color I have on the board. I can just take out a color and be pretty assured that I'm going to do well. What I don't want to do is combine these two. I'll probably still make it in the number of moves I have available. And I don't have any dangerous uh, things happening here. But um, I'm going to get more points if I take out an individual color plus I'll get a stronger opportunity to maybe make more matches and specials. So let's see if I get any color bombs just by taking out color bombs. Mm, I didn't, but I think I can construct one out of purple and I've already got all of the points I need. I don't see anything that can hurt me. I don't see any dangers on the board. There are no ticking time bombs. So it's just me kind of playing out the game here. Um, here's the the bad news about me I'm never all that interested in getting a really really high score uh, I used to do this thing where I would try to collect all three stars on every level uh, a friend of mine and I we had this competition uh, and he was always much better than I was well by the time we ended when the new platform came along and they stopped kind of tracking the stars for us uh, I had about 10 levels up to around 2,800, 10 levels that I hadn't three-starred yet, and he only had three levels he hadn't three-starred yet. Um, so I wasn't too far off, but he was always just a better player than I was. So I, I was fine <laughs> losing that competition to him. There we go, made another one of these. So if you're interested in getting points, the way to do it is to make these color bombs. Now this board doesn't have ticking time bombs on it, but if it did, the very, very, very best way to make points on a board is to match a color bomb with the color of the most prevalent ticking time bomb. Not with the actual time bomb itself, but just with the color. So if I've got five uh, blue ticking time bombs and two red ticking time bombs, I want to match the color bomb with just a regular blue candy, and that'll take out all five ticking time bombs and I'll get exponentially more points for doing that than I would for collecting like two red one time and three, oops, hello, three red the next time. So that is the very best way I know of to get points on a board. Striped trapped combos are pretty good if you can't get color bombs. I didn't get to combo that, it kind of blew up. But that's another opportunity. Generally though, with color bombs, you take out an individual color and that'll get you the most points. So thank you again, Laurel. I appreciate it. And it was fun to play a level that was easy. Or I thought it was easy. But if you're struggling with this, please, please put something in the comments. Let me know. And we will workshop it and try to figure out the best way possible for you to approach it. Or, or if you have any other questions or comments, put those below. If you did find this helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That would help me out. And as always, thanks so much for watching.